Welcome to Trailing Edge, Ideas Whose Time Has Come and Gone. Today I want to talk about a wonderful book, new book, okay, it's not really new, it was published in 2010 called The Imperfectionist. It's by a man named Tom Rackman. This is the most wonderful book. It's about the newspaper business. And it, it's wonderful because it's very funny, but it's also quite serious. Now, I'm going to tell you about my two favorite chapters, although everyone is terrific. The one about the obituary writer is just amazing. Um, he uses, as chapter titles, he uses weird, dumb headlines. And one of them is World's Oldest Liar Dies at 126. And that's about the obituary writer. This really failed, well, you know, if you're writing obits, you're in trouble. But he goes out to write the obituary of this once upon a time famous authoress, very old, and um, he goes to interview her, but actually he's interviewing her for the obituary. So, I mean, he has to tell her this, which is a bit of a downer because she's really not dead. And so she's sitting there telling him about herself. And then um, he gets a call in the middle of this interview and in his spare time at the paper, he does a section called Puzzle Wuzzle, which is about a weird puzzle, you know, to keep things going for the readership. But anyway, he gets a weird phone call, and Tom Rackman handles this so beautifully. Something truly tragic has happened in the obit writer's life, where he has to leave and go back to the paper. And the way this is handled is so beautiful. And then... He's back at the paper, and then he leverages, and I'm, I'm not going to say what that is, but he leverages this bad event into wrangling another trip back to see the famous authoress, who is now actually sick and in the hospital. And their meeting is so fraught and so intriguing that it, it's absolutely wonderful. And the fact that he has somehow turned his own tragedy, which was also about death, into a relationship with this lady who is about to die. It, it's, in, for one chapter, it's just extraordinary. Well, the paper's going downhill and everybody, you know, bad love affairs, drink, you name it, they're all, they don't even write original stories and they're sort of aggregating. <laughs> and, um, but naturally, at some point, the rich family who owns this paper gets fed up and sends out their latest sort of failed grandson to go fix things. He's such a loser, it's just amazing. I mean, the family just wants him to leave the country. That's their point of view. And so they send him to this newspaper, which is absolutely at the end. And so is poor Oliver, even though he's young. And uh, he brings his dog. Well, enough said. Things, things don't go well. But it's so poignant. It's hilarious, and yet it's really awful. It's a complicated, really interesting and funny book, and curiously sort of light as well as sad. Um, so I say, it got one wolf from my dog. So I say, get, your, get it on your nook, on your tablet, on your iPad, or you could just go to a bookstore and hold the imperfectionist in your hand. How's that for trailing edge? But in the meantime, stay behind the curve.